Hey there, Pythonic Accountant here. Today we're going to show you another agentic workflow using the Agents Software Development Kit. And today what we're going to do is show you a multi-agent system. This is pretty awesome. Um, this has the uh, similar one that we looked at in the last video using the Agent Software Development Kit, but now we've added additional agents here. So we're going to use a main agent that's the planner agent as well as a few sub-agents. The planner agent, we are telling, is uh, going to do some accounting research for us. It's going to decide what tools to use. And then the two sub-agents it's going to utilize are a web search agent with some instructions here, as well as a writer agent that's going to write a report at the end. And so we're using GPT-40 Mini for each of these, except we're going to use uh, GPT-40 for that planner agent, just so it's a little bit more intelligent. And then we have uh, this code here that tries to just output the format nicely. Um, I didn't quite get it working how I wanted. I was hoping to have it tell us what websites it visits, uh, but as of now, it uh, leaves that blank. So we'll see if I can fix that in a future video. So basically the way this works now is it's gonna ask me to give it a research topic. So I'm gonna say, um, let's say, tell me how to record uh, contingent legal liabilities. And so what it's going to do now is start the research and it's telling us it's using first the accounting research planner and then it'll probably hopefully pop into doing the accounting web search there we go it's doing the accounting web search and again it's not telling me the websites it's going to but it is i'm pretty sure going to web pages and uh, it is going to tell us in the results uh, what web pages it went to so let's take a look in just a minute see what it gives us Okay, now it's uh, handed off to the write memo agent, and so it's going to uh, end up writing that memo for us and output in just a second. Okay, cool. So now it's telling us, okay, the steps I took were to research accounting standards, conducted a web search, uh, focusing on these uh, FASB and IIS, identify recognition criteria, disclosure requirements, utilize examples. Um, I went to a couple Wikipedia pages. Okay, I guess that's something. And then here's the final memo. So introduction, recognition, gives us the recognition criteria according to uh, these two. It says a liability should be recognized in the financials if it is probable, meaning likely to occur, and can be reasonably estimated. If both criteria is met, they must record the liability on its financial statements. Um, there's a requirement to disclose unrecognized liabilities. And then it gives a few practical examples as a conclusion. So not too bad. Um, it'd be nice if it gave some links for these sources, but um, I'll take it. So this is just a quick preview. I'll share the, the uh, link to this if you want to play around with it yourself. Um, but really excited to see that we've got some kind of multi-agent workflow going now. The other thing I'll show that's kind of cool is over in my uh, platform, OpenAI Logs, I can see the activity of um, what it was doing. So if I go and look at the logs under responses, because I'm using responses API, I can actually drill in to see um, what my input was, which was the question I asked, um, you know, uh, tell me how to record contingent legal liabilities. That should show up here when it pops up in a second. Mm -hmm. And then it'll give me uh, details on what it actually did uh, as part of that response. And so you can say, okay, here's the system instructions that it gave. Um, and I can see the input. And then this is telling me what the output was. Um, using the different function calls, including the accounting web search. And here it can tell me what uh, web page it went to, uh, allegedly. And um, again, another function call here and uh, the output. So there you have it. Well, I hope you like this video. If you like it, please like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one.